Okay, well, uh, are you married? No. Nope? Okay, well, uh, yeah. If you can't handle his antics, you divorce him, like, let's say three years from now. Well, we have now divorced from you. You gotta pack up your stuff and you gotta go. Or gave him employment, why would you do it, right? And uh, the other piece of paper is literally a copy of a bank statement that shows that you, as long as you can prove that you can keep uh, sustaining yourself here, you're gonna be just fine. And I do know quite a few people who've been here for lots of years doing exactly that, right? Like her ocean view, but no sunset. It's only 800 bucks a night. But that lady there, she's super rich. She can afford the very first one up there. See that from like cooking and cleaning on vacation, right? It's like a big over there. You know, every morning, just like everybody else gets to make children. Three, you know, that's what I put down there over there. She got married to her son. Like, if I didn't put the big red in like, uh, in the middle of summer, we get the, like, about two feet here. There we go. We get this really calm. It's just like, So you can see those solid cores, like I said, that brain core always looks like a brain. You're also going to see another one down there that's a bit more of an orange shade and has a star pattern all over it. So this one with the star pattern all over it, believe it or not, we call that star core. Does that change? But the soft ones give you that visual appearance. So you guys see these ones right here, and they look a little different from each other. Then you got the soft cores that I mentioned, the sea worlds, which are those underwater cat's tails and jadlocks. And then you got the purple sea bag, which is purple, it's under the sea, and it looks a little bit like something you found yourself with. It's a little water, but they're also important for us as humans because they give back a lot of oxygen. So you guys may have been, in fact, for all of that ocean, only less than 1% of it has for a reason. Actually, I mean, yeah, in a moment we're going to be going on to the, uh, the shipwreck. So I'll be telling you a little bit more about that shipwreck, all right? Now the difference between this natural coral reef system and that shipwreck is that the natural coral reef system is natural, so it was made by Mother Nature. Meaning that you have the hills, the valleys, the rocks, the crevices, and rocks and holes and everything like that, right? Whereas on that shipwreck, you'll find that there's a lot more of those man-made ships. made it on the first boat to ever have two steam powered engines. Now, you guys at the back of the boat, you might start to see that shipwreck coming up powered engines. That's why I said that's the boiler room, right? So she had two steam powered engines. Now back in 1864, this was the first boat to ever have them. So two sources of power now, which is better than one, right? Now theoretically, this meant that she'd go a little bit faster. But they threw her back in the water and she went a blistering just under four. So actually a little bit slower. Right? Now, the Royal Navy, being this big powerhouse at the top, that covers up to across that natural break, is because enemy vessels, they all could sail right on through that natural break in the coral reef system and destroy the western end of the island, right? They'd see that nice big blue break in it, think it's the perfect space for them to come sailing on through. And because we have no form of forts, I don't know if you guys have seen, but we've got a bunch of forts started around the island, we don't have one of this coastline right here. So we have no form of defense. Now, the water out here with the intention of sinking it. We hired a dynamite expert, of course, because we're a little island. We could have just poked a hole in this side, but it's a lot more fun to blow things up, right? So that's what we did. We blew her up. But that's where we messed up. We blew her up. So we threw a bunch of that dynamite right in the middle of the hole, right? 